Hey guys, what's up? It's Dan Weimer here, CEO of Morpheus Network, uh, here with another cool uh, little video update for you guys. Um, you guys can sh see my screen that I'm sharing over here, uh, kind of a, a cool token flow diagram. Uh, what I wanted to mention about this specifically uh, is you can see here, uh, right at the top of the diagram, this is when the user initiates a con uh, contract workflow. Uh, now that contract workflow specifically, we're talking about all those different modules uh, that a company would line up and their supply chain manager uh, is in the platform, arranging them in the order that makes sense for their specific supply chain, uh, whether that's using an IoT device, uh, such as Parcel Live we have there, integrating their ERP data, uh, different triggers down the supply chain, whether it's a, a QR code, an RFID trigger, uh, and using different you know, government bodies and, and necessary compliance documents, of course, um, you know, which we've done many times in the past with CBP in various places around the world, um, you know, bringing in all these different functionality, uh, putting it in an automated workflow. Uh, and then as you can see, uh, the way that we charge the clients is, uh, is the SaaS fees, obviously the software as a service fees, that's what the client pays us. Uh, and a percentage of those SaaS fees uh, is actually taken and used uh, for the back end, which is actually the notarization of the completion of each one of these modules. Uh, so we have a, our token source wallet uh, MRPH token source, so we have it always accessible. Uh, obviously, we're replenishing that wallet from an external source, which you see here as well. Uh, and then we're writing to mainnet. Uh, the way that works uh, is that ETH gas is used to actually notarize, uh, you, know, the, you know, record the actual completion of each one of those modules within a, a, an automated workflow. Uh, so we actually convert uh, the MRPH, which is taken from that source wallet, into the minimal amount of ETH gas uh, needed in order to record on the mainnet. Uh, and that transaction itself is what notarizes the completion of those modules. Uh, and a separate transaction is actually the transfer uh, of that MRPH, uh, which is used based on a percentage of those SAS fees, uh, and then received on the other end, which you see over here uh, in our platform wallet. Uh, that's taken in uh, as, you know, for the uh, company as revenue as well. Uh, so once again, uh, this is, uh, you know, a transaction that takes place where you can actually find on the mainnet, I, I've seen a couple of uh, uh, links to uh, Morpheus platform uh, notarizations on the mainnet, which is fantastic. Uh, that's related obviously to that ETH gas being used. Uh, so once again, uh, the, the MRPH and how much MRPH is figured out based on the uh, SAS fees themselves, percentage of that SAS fee is converted into MRPH and then that MRPH is used uh, in order to uh, get ETH gas to record on the mainnet as well. Uh, once we obviously hit, uh, you know, which I mentioned before is a bottleneck, uh, which I, I, you know, using the term bottleneck is what I refer to as a sort of network uh, congestion. Uh, so maybe that was, you know, a metaphor that was, um, you know, uh, you know, basically didn't, didn't come straight to everybody. Uh, you know, oh, that's a bad way to say it. I'll skip that. Um, maybe not the best metaphor, but, uh, you know, what I meant to say, uh, to explain that bottleneck is basically when the transactions are no longer flowing in the platform. Uh, Vinesh explained this a lot better, obviously, as well. Uh, but let's say we have uh, you know, 10,000 10, transactions that need to be processed uh, and based on congestion or a bottleneck of the Ethereum mainnet blockchain, we can't process those transactions in time to notarize them as needed. That's when we would leverage masternodes on the back end. That's when the masternode operators are critical and essential. Uh, and that's what you see on this side uh, of the actual uh, diagram as well. So when we're leveraging these various other technologies, whether it's a remittance, a payment system like Bitcoin, uh, processing transactions, uh, you know, whether it's EOS, uh, Holochain, or whatever we're using uh, you know, to get the supply chains completed as quickly as possible uh, and avoiding any sort of bottlenecks when it comes to processing transactions, uh, storing documents, uh, sharing documents, pushing ahead these companies uh, so they can continue working, uh, continue making revenue, continue paying us our SaaS fees as well. Uh, that's when it's critical for these massive node operators to be fully operational, not been running, um, in order to process them without any any bottlenecks holding us up. So, uh, I hope that clarifies a little bit of the token flow. Uh, thank you guys so much again for watching. Any other questions? Please reach out to myself. Reach out to the team. Once again, everybody, as always, thank you. Have a great day.